G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. We are currently in the Sydney Harbour Tunnel. We are underwater right now. Isn't that sick? And uh, <laughs> this is week four of the Thruxton R build. So each week I've been riding up to uh, Wenley Andrews custom motorbike workshop that he just opened like in January. So it's all fresh, all new, and he's a sick custom bike builder. If you're on the gram, go and check him out. He built some dope machines, real fat, real like aggressive styles. Uh, and I reckon this build is going to be pretty sick. So this builds in collaboration with Flow Motion Project, who are based over in Perth. So they literally just hit up Wenley, you know, just based on his photos. And uh, we're just like, can you build us a bike? So yeah, I'll see you there. Woo! So this is it. This is the build. What year is it? 2017 Thruxton R. So yeah, so I've been like, I've been cruising around here once a week, documenting the build for Flow Motion Project. This is Wenley, by the way. There he goes. And yeah, and this is his, his sick workshop. So he's just only been here since January. And this is his, that's your, this is your first project, hey, since opening. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be pretty damn cool. Last week, this was all cardboard, but now, how good does that look? Yeah, right, yeah, there it is. This thing. There's the old template. There's the chain guard here. Go something like that. Something like that. The swing arm's off, the tire's off, obviously. Um, the air box and everything. That's all, that's all out of here. So, and the exhaust as well. The exhaust is going to be pretty epic. That's a little, that's a little surprise, a little something, something for you to check out later once the build's done. But yeah, this is where it's sort of at. Everything's just ripped apart, really. Triple clamps off, yeah, he bought this headlight. It looks pretty it cool. It looks made like that, yeah. Look at that. Looks so cool. It looks sick. Who's, it's who's very clean. Me? I just thought it would light up a little bit like... But yeah. it wasn't the... <laughs> <laughs> and the, that is the, the halo. That's the noise we're making. Yeah, the halo. The halo noise. It's not actually a halo. It's, it's pretty... Halo. It's but it still looks cool. A little I like the look of it. It does look mad. It's got the line across in it. Oh. Yeah. And it's really small and tidy. Looks good. All that, yeah, that's right. That's always the joys with yeah. removing headlights and stuff. Um, you keep the triple clamp the same? Yeah. Right, it's a new triple clamp. Yeah, he's been, check out the, you're not 3D printing anything yet, but. Oh, so no, but actually, I forgot to tell you, we're not keeping the triple clamp because I'm doing a new triple clamp. Ah. Um, man, I to put this one. Oh, sick, that's the motor gadget. Yes. Yeah, mad. So I just got that in, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll just put that in. <laughs> yeah, cool. Rather than the big chunky one. How are you going to do with all the, um, like the electronics and stuff? Uh, well, I'll just show you. Mm. So, I'm thinking, because this is a pain in the ass mm -hmm. to remove, and uh, the key has a sensor in there, which needs the key to always be, to be in there yeah. for the bike to turn on and it says, hey, key's in there, you can turn on now. So we need to use this. And I thought, if someone's going to use this bike as well, uh, they'll be riding it and they're parking it. So they kind of still need to lock it and have that safety. Yeah. So I'm going to, instead of it being here in the middle, I'll move it around and then I'll have the motor gadget. And that's why I got this. The round one, so it ah, kind of matches nice. the round. Yeah. So we'll have it like that kind of thing. Cool. And yeah, so it will just be like that. Man. Uh, maybe like that. Upside down won't work. I mean, like this is the this is the old boy that we're trying to get rid of. Oh. So like comparison. <laughs> Minimal's nice as well. And so I'm trying to find out if uh, we can still use some functions. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. So you can still go sport mode. Why? What modes? Like, what riding modes are this? Like wet sport, sports, yeah. rain, animal, animal. No jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Beast mode. <laughs> Defender. Ah, oh, right. That's right. So if you follow on the, if you follow on my socials, my Instagram, I've been posting some regular stories and all this, and this was like, 
This was like three weeks ago, bro. Yeah, I've just been dwelling on it. I'm like, what do I do? Yeah, I got a good photo Everything of you dwelling on it. Done except for that. <laughs> I just have it. Just leave it to last. Everyone else is doing like. Everyone does this. This is the uh, you put a bung here and you weld a piece of a rod here and then bung bung rod. I'm like, well, I don't know. Every, everyone's just doing that, and I've done it so many times. I did it on Mad Max. I did it on a couple of bikes. I was just trying to find something else. Yeah, sure. Let's change it up a little bit. Oh, I can, yeah, usually I'll laser cut as well, a fender bracket. But I wanted to really change it up and have something pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's how it's just been every week. I come here, he's finished last week's sort of, you know, thoughts and everything, and he's uh, applied it all, and everything comes all nicely. So every time I come up, like that back plate, like I said, that was all just cardboard last week. So it's just cool coming in every week and just seeing how much he does and you know what what works and what doesn't. Yeah, he says nothing, but he actually does a lot. Um, but yeah, I reckon I reckon it's time to have this coffee and um, I'll start taking some photos, do a little bit of work. In the meantime, I'll run you through the the progress that we've made so far from week one to this week. really nice and neat and yeah like it's a very nice looking headlight so I don't want to hide it so we're discussing if we should put the fairing on with the headlight or if we should just leave it by itself drop us a line in the comments let us know what you think if we should put the fairing on imagine the fairing or keep it all nice and naked a small fairing. I love the headlight that way it's really tidy hmm Look at all that. That's all the um, all the prototypes. Are you going with that? Are you using that as the? No. It's uh, doing it on another bike. Ah. So that was a my bike. That was a cover thing here. Yeah, not that. I'm just ditching it. Um, but yeah, check out all the bloody things, man. All these 3D printed. There's another triple clamp there. Box full of um, like fun parts. <laughs> what the heck is that, man? Uh, it's over here, yeah. So check out the chain guard. Is this is this the the final thing with the chain guard? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I've just got to give it to someone to test. Oh yeah, we just got to test it out. Yeah. Just make sure it doesn't hit. Um, but yeah, so like, still a fair bit to go. But I thought I'd just show you, you know, I'll show you where it's at. Um, it's gonna be pretty cool when it's damn done. How many more weeks you reckon till it's finished? Uh, 18th of August has to be done. 18th of August. Yeah, I might do another episode with it a bit more complete, a bit more finalized so you can see how everything's sort of progressing. Um, they're still finalizing like paint and a lot of things. The wheels, the wheels are a thing where we might paint them black or we might be going carbon with them. Still don't know. Um, and I guess there's still just going to be, it's at that period now where it's still just, there's a lot that can just change, you know, moving forward. So I will do another episode when it's a little bit more complete and then I'll be doing the test ride on it which is going to be so sick take this thing out for a damn rip get some banging photos it's going to be a good time alright guys thank you so much for watching uh, I'm out of here I'm going to go home when he's going to keep on you're going to stay back and keep working on it yeah he's behind <laughs>
<laughs> if you're keen to follow along the build, like I said, this is week four. So we've got a few weeks to go. It's uh, we've still got more than halfway to go, which is crazy. Subscribe to the channel and keep up to date with the whole the whole happenings. Also follow Flow Motion Project, follow Wenley, follow myself, and uh, this is all going to be going public very soon. I mean, it's public now. Hmm. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Mate, your tires are pretty small, mate. My tires. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to the one I just put on that bike. <laughs> which which one? Oh yeah, yeah. So he's bagging me out now because my tire's not big enough apparently. <laughs> First thing he said when he saw my bike was like, "Man, why don't you put the rear tire on the front tire?" <laughs> well, see this one. <laughs> that would look sick there. <laughs> that had really tiny tires on here. The tiny tires. And then I put the big tires on, and then she was like, "Oh, my fender doesn't fit anymore." <laughs> ah, like, oh, just leave it off. Yeah, oh. right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm adjusting her fender. Oh, hectic! But it looks <laughs> mad though. Yeah, look at Chucky. But you can't do that to mine, man. Mine's so, it's so thin, like it's like... Oh, you don't have space. I don't have space. Holy as I went as wide oh. as I really could already, but... Oh. I know, so I'm gonna have to change the forks, rip everything out, do it all over again.